June 9th, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, Psalms, chapters 52 and 53 of the Old Testament. Why do you boast about your evil plans, O powerful man? God's loyal love protects me all day long. Your tongue carries out your destructive plans. It is as effective as a sharp razor, O deceiver. You love evil more than good, lies more than speaking the truth. Selah. You love to use all the words that destroy and the tongue that deceives. Yet God will make you a permanent heap of ruins. He will scoop you up and remove you from your home. He will uproot you from the land of the living. Selah. When the godly see this, they will be filled with awe and will mock the evildoer, saying, Look, here is the man who would not make God his protector. He trusted in his great wealth and was confident about his plans to destroy others. But I am like a flourishing olive tree in the house of God. I continually trust in God's loyal love. I will continually thank you when you execute judgment. I will rely on you for your loyal followers. Know you are good. Fools say to themselves, there is no God. They sin and commit evil deeds. None of them does what is right. God looks down from heaven at the human race to see if there is anyone who is wise and seeks God. Everyone rejects God. They are all morally corrupt. None of them does what is right, not even one. All those who behave wickedly do not understand. Those who devour my people as if they were eating bread and do not call out to God. They are absolutely terrified even by things that do not normally cause fear. For God annihilates those who attack you. You are able to humiliate them because God has rejected them. I wish the deliverance of Israel would come from Zion. When God restores the well-being of his people, may Jacob rejoice. May Israel be happy. God, I, I don't think I could ever make fun of somebody who doesn't seek you. My heart breaks for those people. I, I was just talking to a friend of mine who, who not only rejects you, but makes fun of you and makes fun of your people. I, I already know you know who I'm talking about. And my heart breaks for him. I, I, my heart breaks for the world he lives in, the money he pursues, the type of relationship he has. He's chasing after things that are so temporary when he could have you and he could have eternal life. I don't think I could ever make fun of people like that, God. But I do pray for them today. I do know that you are a God of restoration and that if you Please, if you would help guide their hearts, if you would put people in their lives. God, I know it's all about your timing and you have a plan for everybody in this world. But my heart breaks for them, for what they don't know or what they think they do know. Fools say to themselves, there is no God. But I couldn't be foolish and make fun of somebody like that. I used to be that person. I knew there was a God. I was just belligerent about my relationship with you and belligerent to other people who had already figured out not only is there a God, but how crazy awesome is it to have a relationship with him? And I made fun of them. So I've been where those people are gone and I couldn't, I couldn't imagine going back to that. I can't imagine living that way. God, please heal their hearts of whatever needs to happen so they can not only follow you, but glorify you and tell others about you. Tell others how you brought them out of that incredibly dark life that they lived. All praise and all glory to you, God. In your son's name I pray. Amen.